Hi guys, today it's February 9th, 2023, um, around 11.45. Sorry, my eye was watering. Um, Miranda Austin here. I'm uh, from a small town, Penarjal, Pennsylvania. Uh, just a small town girl trying to find her way. Um, I don't really know where to start. I guess I'm just sort of free flow of speaking. And I think I've had the first real conversation with a person ever um, about some real stuff, but it's hard to imagine coming from like a regular civilian standpoint. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, we are we are all the same. We are all made from the same things um but there's a spiritual awakening happening around the world as we can't really deny that the challenges that we're getting aren't i, I don't feel i'm just going to speak how i feel i don't really have anything else to go on other than what comes to my mind and heart in the moment so i don't want to be scrutinized or looked at as some sort of higher up i'm not part of the government although i would like to be someday um i think we have a lot of work to do and that i have some things to say so i'm just recording for now and i'm not even sure if i'm going to post anything um but i myself am going through a lot of um, changes and challenges in my personal life my home life my career everything seems to be like going down the drain but somehow internally you know that this is supposed to happen so you're not mad you don't really know how you're going to get through but something internally tells you that you are and you have what it takes so i think part of what i'm supposed to do now is just give some encouragement enlightenment you're not alone um we are being tested and don't be mad about that there is a process of whether it's the government or our society that needs to do this to set things on track there's going to be a shake up there's going to be a lot that we don't expect or don't know which way to go or it's it's going to make you uncomfortable but if you're not uncomfortable you can't grow or make those changes you need i think that there's a universal thing happening i think it's to prepare us internally instinctively i'm not saying it's the end of the world no this is not this is the beginning and i'm not talking like oh we're all gonna die and go to heaven and we should start some sort of thing that people do to cult or something no this is not any of that i i am um, i'm a spiritual person i'm real hearted i even in my worst times i still want to help people because that's what it's about um and we have to help each other so i think the message oh my god i'm on three minutes already um really is be ourselves because everything is going to come to light who we really are anyways um when somebody really does need help are you going to be there for them or are you going to just take care of yourself i'm not saying we're selfish um we are at times and sometimes it's called for to do so but there's other ways if we're prepared um there's things happening that we get angry about but we can't just shut down and do nothing unless it's called for to sit still and understand and meditate on what to do next. I mean, we don't always know for sure until we take action. So I'm sort of on that fence too of whether or not to take action on something or not. I, I have actually, I take action all the time on tons of things and sometimes it goes nowhere and sometimes it just leads me to the next um, step of something I wasn't expecting out of a result to something else that didn't work. So that's okay. You just, just go through your process. Um, check your bank accounts. Go ahead, pull your money out, put it aside. If it gets stolen, well, then obviously somebody knew about it or it wasn't meant to be in your hands because whatever you're about to go through in a challenge, you're going to have to be faced with that and figure it out. Money doesn't mean anything. I mean, yes, we need it 
or something for stability and security in the moment while it's still worth something. Um, and that's not to scare anybody. That's just to say, um, you just think about the basics of what you really need. I know we buy our kids electronics and make them happy and stuffed animals. I do it all the time. I'm guilty of it. Um, whatever we need in the moment. In the end, you can't really take all of it with you. It's just exhausting to keep up on. Um, keep changing your password, your username, what's connected to it, your bank account, make a new one, do it again. It's it doesn't it almost doesn't matter. Um, it's it's teeter teeter tedious. Sorry, I couldn't talk for a sec. Um cycle and that's okay too um i think we all have a purpose we all have freedom of choice even if you don't live somewhere where that seems logical there's gonna be a way to figure that out based on your internal instincts and who you really are and how you're being carried with yourself, your character. Um, you got to know inside that you're going to be okay, even if you don't know how. I know we got to use logic. I know you can't just sit still and protest in the middle of the street and expect nobody to hit you <laughs> um, if they're driving by, I, you know, if they don't see you in time. I'm not saying doing anything dangerous or extreme at all. No, you live your life the way that you're living it, keep going, but there's going to be subtle changes and then there's going to be dramatic changes. And when that comes, don't be mad. Just take it as a grain of salt, move forward, keep trying, um, show them what you really are like. And and you know what? What's happening is the greedy ones, the, the, the ones that shouldn't be here are getting caught up on their own. People who um, do believe in spiritualism and maybe practice on the dark side, you're in trouble. You can't do anything much longer. It's only going to hurt you. So every everyone out there, whatever you cast on another person, spellbound, sacrifices, whatever, anything in a negative mindset or in greed or jealousy or, or hate or um, concern or worry, it's going to come right back to you. It has nothing to do with me. Um, that's just a word of advice. I would stop. You can't have what other people have. You have to earn it. So let's just do that. Um, that's my first thought. Secondly, it's not coming from me. That's just universal. That goes for law enforcement. That goes for anybody. If you're a good person, show it. Don't be fake either. That'll get exposed. It'll show. There's, there's no room for greed. Listen, if you have millions of dollars, kudos to you. I don't know if it was given to you, if you earned it, if you really did it by the sweat off of other people's backs unfairly. Did you treat people good while you earned that? That's fine. But what do you do with it? You have more than enough. And I'm not saying give all your money away. I'm saying, can you put it somewhere where it is going to help? Like if, if money didn't matter, what would you do with your life? If money didn't matter and you didn't need it, what do you need? What are the basics you need to survive? And this is not to scare anyone. It could be years and years and years until anything really crazy happens. But for now, um, write down what you need if you had to pick up and leave. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just write it down, make a list. Um, what's important? What's not? What do you think you're going to need? And what can we do to help each other if, if you had it? And, and you know what? You shouldn't help others unless you have enough left over after helping yourself because you can't help anybody else unless you help yourself, right? So that's okay too. It's not in a greedy way. It's just saying like, get what you need for yourself. And when you have more left over, then you can start giving to others. That's really how it's supposed to go. And you got to stay positive and keep trying to do what's right. I think that's the biggest important message. I have been through hell and back um, with a ton of things going on, crashing down in my life, as I explained in the beginning of this video. And I don't want to make this personal. I don't want to discuss where I worked and what happened. And I don't want to discuss who I live with and what their names are. I mean, I gave you my name, but I, it's, it's not about that. It's, it's, um, 
it's not about coming after anybody who's done you wrong. This, these were the challenges you were given that are going to make you stronger to get you through what you need to do. So where I'm trying to go with this, I'm going to create another video that's a little lighter, I hope, and gets more to the point of what it is I really want to try to do or what I think I'm supposed to be doing and to see if I can get the support out there I need from those who would follow and um, subscribe or I don't even know how to do this. I have to kind of research this. I guess I'm a little nervous to start a um, bank account link to a YouTube channel, but I think I'm going to ask for donations. Um, if it strikes you to donate, I just want to tell my story. It's not even about money. I don't, I don't have to have all the money in the world to do what I think I need to do. I just need what I need in order to survive and get through this and push forward and start helping other people. So my basics is going to be, I need a home. I need property. Um, I need supporters. I need the money for food and preparations and materials. And I need somebody who believes in me and can see the vision that I have and why it's important. And to see, to just support me to be who I am and speak freely because I, I think I have a lot more to discuss. I might do some angel card readings. I am not 110% confident that I'm like right on, but with myself internally, I know when I should do something when I shouldn't. And the advisor I just spoke with was kind of um, encouraging me to go ahead and just start uh, a video. It doesn't, uh, he said, just try doing private videos or offering that, but uh, like private angel card readings. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but I might just do a uh, video to see what happens. And if it resonates with anyone, well, then they take it as is and they leave the rest. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. I'm going to start there. <laughs>